Hi there. Why are you here? Haven't seen you in a while. Give me a sec. I'm almost done with my workout. Yeah, after I got COVID, my cardiopulmonary endurance became really bad. I get out of breath just climbing a few stairs. So I came to the Department of Rehabilitation for a cardiopulmonary exercise test. Then I received a detailed report, and the doctor gave me a very specific exercise prescription. So I started exercising. That's impressive. How is this test done? The entire testing process takes about 30 minutes. A physical therapist will assist with the test. She will first confirm a few things. Before the cardiopulmonary exercise test, you should have your meal and take your medications one hour in advance. Wear loose-fitting, comfortable clothing and sports shoes. If you can, try get a family member to accompany you. Then they'll attach ECG electrodes on me and have me wear a face mask. Now we're going to test if the mask fits properly. Please inhale gently through your mouth. Then exhale gently. Next, sit on the exercise bike. The therapist will then adjust the seat height as well as the handlebar position. Then I have to test the pedals. From there, the therapist will clip on the pulse oximeter, strap on the blood pressure cuff, and connect the test cables. We are told to not talk during the test. If you experience chest tightness, chest pain, dizziness, or any other discomfort, please raise your hand and get the therapist. We will stop the test immediately. This is called the rating of perceived exertion scale. Six means that you're not out of breath. 20 means that you are completely exhausted. We'll measure your blood pressure every two minutes and ask you to indicate how you feel at that moment. Let's begin now. First, please close your eyes and rest for three minutes. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Start pedaling. Please maintain a rotation speed of about 75 revolutions per minute. It's not about going as fast as possible. We'll warm up for three minutes first. After that, the resistance will gradually increase. We'll start measuring blood pressure every two minutes. Compare with the rating of perceived exertion scale. The doctor will monitor your physiological state, which includes ECG, blood pressure, heart rate, and resistance. When we see abnormalities in the ECG or blood pressure, or when the patient reaches their physical limit, that's when we'll start the cool down phase. Okay, now you can pedal slower. Gradually adjust your breathing. After your blood pressure and heart rate return to normal, we can end the test. Ms. Fang, based on your test results, we recommend that you regularly do spinning exercises with a heart rate between 121 and 163, or a power output between 55 and 115 watts. For your spinning exercise, you should do three times a week, 30 minutes each time. This will most effectively improve your cardiopulmonary endurance. Wow. So with this test, under the doctor's recommendation, I can exercise effectively and safely. And also, get a detailed report. I think it's really worth it. Fantastic. This concludes our introduction to the Rehabilitation Department's cardiopulmonary test. If you need to test your cardiopulmonary endurance or want to know about exercise prescriptions, feel free to visit the Health Examination Center or consult the Department of Rehabilitation for more information.